Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my gluten-free Instapot pot roast recipe. Full recipe and instructions will be down in the description, so be sure to check that out. Prep work is the best work when it comes to making any recipe and that's actually my favorite part about cooking is all the prep work and the cutting. My husband always tells me, why don't we just buy one of those veggie chopper things? And you know what? I just like chopping vegetables, but this recipe in particular, you will need to chop up a bunch of vegetables but it's gonna be the easiest thing because you just roughly chop them. They don't have to be uniform or perfect, just bite size will do. Here's a pro tip when it comes to prepping and making any kind of recipe. Always have two bowls on hand, one bowl for scraps and one bowl for whatever it is that you're chopping. So go ahead and wash and prep and chop up all your veggies and place them in a bowl and put it aside. I love these kind of recipes because they are the kind where you just put all the ingredients in your Instapot, you set it and you forget it, and then an hour later you have this super savory, delicious meal that basically you just had to chop a bunch of ingredients and throw in a pot. So, I mean, that's pretty as simple as it can get. Be extremely picky on the bone broth you guys pick. This one I highly recommend. It is so delicious and the ingredients are amazing. Most seasonings for pot roast have a blend with gluten or wheat, and we just don't do gluten in our home. My son has a gluten allergy, so I've made up this pot roast seasoning blend that is perfect every single time. It is absolutely delicious, and I've written it out down in the description for you. You can totally make this blend ahead of time and store it in a airtight jar for future uses. It's also really good on actually anything so the only real cooking in quotations <laughs> that you guys would be doing would be searing the roast in a pan so you want to put some like good quality oil in your pan uh, season up your meat and just kind of brown it like really good the browner the better because you're gonna get all that flavor then you're gonna add your celery and your onions and all of your seasonings and give it a good mix Transfer your roast into the Instapot, just on top of the veggies is fine. And then the next step would basically just be pouring the bone broth over the roast and veggies. You're gonna go ahead and directly pour it on top and then add some water so you want the roast to be semi-covered with liquid. Add in two bay leaves to the top and grab your Instapot lid and go ahead and lock it secure. Turn on your Instapot, set it to high heat and you wanna go ahead and put it all the way to one hour. After the hour is up, go ahead and release all the pressure. Be careful not to burn yourself. It gets extremely steamy and so your meat should be pretty much falling off the bone at this point. It is so juicy and so tender. Go ahead and transfer it to another dish and just shred your meat. Once your meat's all shredded, then you're gonna go ahead and add in your small baby potatoes. You do not need to cut them. In all of your carrots and incorporate the cooked onions and celery along with the uncooked potatoes and carrots, giving a good mixture. I like to also add in a teaspoon or two of the Better Than Bouillon Chicken Bouillon Base. Add back into the Instapot your shredded roast meat and give it a nice stir, like really good stir, incorporating everything together. And you're gonna go ahead and place that lid back onto the Instapot and set it to high and set it to 15 minutes. 
Once the 15 minutes is up, go ahead and release all of that steam. Your potatoes and veggies should be so nice and tender and you can go ahead and test it with a fork. They are gonna be so good. There you have it, my Instapot one hour gluten-free pot roast recipe. I hope that you make this and that you serve it to all your loved ones and they love it, they enjoy it, and it feels like a great big warm hug from me to you. Have a wonderful day. See you in my next video. Besitos and blessings.